where I'm taking you is the Indiana University of Pennsylvania's Co-op Park. And this is actually the site where ticks were collected back in 2012 to 2014 and sent to Harrisburg for testing. And the results are part of the statewide study that was published in 2015 showing that all 67 counties in Pennsylvania had infected ticks infected with the Lyme disease pathogen. So the students are, are going to demonstrate how we collect ticks. It's the, it's the standard way, which is uh, dragging a one meter square piece of uh, heavy cloth uh, by a string, dragging it through and over vegetation, and then checking it every 10 meters or so to see if a tick has latched on. And we'll be uh, dragging over or flagging over barberry, which is an invasive um, shrub that at least the adult ticks like to get climb up on so they um, can hopefully attach to deer that pass by. We are now entering um, the nymph season and the nymphs will, they've just started appearing and their numbers will increase uh, through the summer and they'll peak at the uh, beginning of July and the nymphs are about poppy size, um, very small and they're down in the leaf litter and on the, uh, the grass and ferns and they grow in the, uh, in the forest, they, they like to be in the woods. So people are very active this time of year, hiking and doing yard work. In most cases, the Lyme disease are, are due to being bit by a nymph. And this during the, uh, typically the, the midsummer. And they're very small, you, they only latch on for about four or five days and they drop off. And in many cases, you don't even know you were bitten because they're so small. So this is really the, the highest, this is the high risk season for Lyme disease is, is, is coming in the next couple of months.